To find a specific demand curve, we could collect data and use statistical techniques in order to identify it. Or we could use a shortcut called the back of the envelope calculations. So in order to do back of the envelope calculations, we're going to assume demand is linear. So it's going to take the form Q equals A minus BP. Now, if we know the elasticity, the current price, and the current quantity, we can derive a specific demand curve. That is, we can figure out what A and B are in this general equation. So to find B, we're going to recall the formula for elasticity for linear demand. We had that nice shortcut where it, elasticity is the negative of B times P star over Q star. So those are the market price and quantity. Now if we know the elasticity, the price, and the quantity, we can deduce B. So if we rearrange this equation, we get that negative elasticity times Q over P is equal to B. So this is going to be an important formula for you to note and to remember. Now let's find A. The current price and quantity, we know they have to be points on the demand curve that we're trying to describe. So Q star and P star are part of this specific demand curve. Now we just derived B as the negative of the elasticity times Q star over P star. So we can substitute this expression in to our demand equation. So it's Q star equals A minus B times P star, where I've plugged in negative E Q star P star for B. I can simplify, those P stars are going to cancel out, and I can distribute that negative sign. So I've got Q star equals A plus elasticity times Q star. I can collect the Q stars and solve for A by bringing a negative elasticity times Q over to the left hand side. I've collected out 1 minus E times Q star and that equals A. This will be our other important formula to note. So now we've got a general formula for A and a general formula for B. If we know the elasticity and current quantity, we can find A. So here's an example. In 1990, U.S. per capita consumption of chicken was 70 pounds per person. Average retail price of chicken was 70 cents a pound. We have estimates for the demand elasticity of chicken and they range from negative 0.5 to negative 0.6. So we've got P star of 70 cents, we've got Q star of 70 pounds, and we've got elasticity I'm going to call it 0.55. I'm splitting the difference here. If I have a range of estimates, maybe I'll just take the average of them. Now B is going to be the negative of the elasticity times Q star over P star. And A is going to be 1 minus elasticity times Q star. All I need to do is plug in P star, Q star, and elasticity into each of these formulas. So B will be the negative of negative 0.55 times 70 over 70 cents. Simplifying, we get 55. Plugging in to solve for A, 1 minus a negative 55 times 70 is going to give us 108.5. So now that I know A and B, I can use that to write the equation for demand for chicken. So Q equals 108.5 minus 55P.